Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and welcome back to my channel. As you see from the title below, this is going to be another Trash Talk video. I finished a good bit of wax in these last few week and a half, week, uh, basically about a week and a half. Uh, some candles, some wax, no body care or anything like that. But I definitely have been feeling the fall vibes. Love fall, as you know. And I just wanted to really feel super comfy and cozy in my house this week with all the best fall fragrances. So without further ado, let's get into it. Starting off with candles like I always do, I actually finished quite a bit of candles and these all were brand new when I started. So I've been burning through the candles. The first one is from Veluspa and this is Spiced Pumpkin Latte. Now these tins are kind of a joke to me. They burn for about 25 hours and then they're gone. And I've said it before, but Velispa candles do not give me a good strength or throw. Uh, the, the vessels are gorgeous, but they just do not perform for me. I don't understand, but I've heard across the board that these are very, very light fragrances. So not expecting much, but Spice Pumpkin Latte, the scent is really nice. It's a very creamy, creamy, rich, nutmeg-forward pumpkin. Really like the scent, but again, it is scentless when you burn it. I finished a single wick in Mahogany Teakwood. I love Mahogany Teakwood. I actually have a wallflower of this going in my entryway. It's such a great, masculine, warm, cologne fragrance, and it's rich mahogany, dark oak, and frosted lavender. When Bath & Body Works does the scent, they do it right, and this is just beautiful. I love Mahogany Teakwood. Warm, cozy, perfect for the bathroom. Really, really enjoyed that. I finished Crisp Morning Air from Bath & Body Works in the Three Wick. This is Crisp Fall Breeze, White Oak, Golden Amber Wood, Saffron, and Soft Sandalwood. Now, for the first half, the flames were huge flamethrowers. The bottom half, again, super low flames. So, it was a very light performer, too. The scent's nice. It's very crisp, outdoorsy, a little, like, aquatic. It's a pretty fragrance. I like it. I think that the sandalwood and the amberwood really just make the woodiness light enough with all those, like, the crisp fall breeze and the white oak and the saffron. It's very, very bright and creamy woody, but it's okay. Um, I don't love it. I wouldn't rebuy it. It was nice. I finished it up. This was the packaging from last year, but... And it wasn't really strong. I finished another Manly Indulgence candle. I think I have half of one that I'm working on now, and then one more, and then these are gone. And this one is Last Call, which is notes of oak moss, vetiver, and musk. Ah, not much to say. Again, these are completely unscented, so these home goods CJ Max candles are just garbage. Speaking of garbage, Woodwick. You guys, I got suckered in over the summer to this scent, Wild Berry and Beets. And I've talked about how horribly performing the Woodwick candles are. I will say, this did perform not too bad. It's definitely sooty. You can see in front of my face all the soot. But the fragrance was beautiful. It's a very sharp fragrance, and I think that's the beet. It doesn't say what berries are in it, but I definitely detect more like raspberry and blackberry. It is a very, like, tart, crisp berry with that, like, tangy beet. It was a very, very pretty fragrance. I did this in my kitchen the whole entire time. Just high flames. It actually performed really, really well, but I just, like, the soot and stuff from Woodway Candles drives me crazy. And then last but not least for candles, we have Spiced Pumpkin. No throw. Made me so sad because these signature line have been... I feel like 75% perform and 25% don't. This one doesn't, and I love the fragrance of Spice Pumpkin. I've been burning it in my office the entire time. No throw. But now I'm burning in my bedroom Apple Pumpkin, and it's doing well. I don't know the rhyme or reason as to why these are burning good for some, and some are just completely awful. I, I don't really understand, but I enjoy Spice Pumpkin a lot. It's, it's one of the original Spice Pumpkin fragrances I ever tried for fall. That cinnamon, clove, and nutmeg mixed with the pumpkin. It's beautiful. Now on to the wax. I'm going to start with the two things that I did not finish up. One, I mean, I should finish, but I didn't. 
After I finished a half a loaf from Sassy Girl Aroma in Fall Yoga Pants by the Fire, and this is Pumpkin Pecan Waffle, Cider Lane, and Marshmallow Fireside. Three of my favorite notes, but this was very, very light. I melted a whole entire half a loaf in my living room, kitchen, dining room, and I could barely smell it. And these notes are really strong, and this was from November 20th of 2021, so almost a year of cure time. And I just did not get the performance from it. I'm really struggling with my Sassy Girl Aroma performing in my house. Some I did this week really, really great. This one, just not so much. And I don't know why, because Pumpkin Pecan Waffles, Cider Lane, and Marshmallow Fireside are pretty strong oils. And together, I love the way it smells. It just did not perform for me. Moving on, Teddy B's Small Town Circus. I had four little cubes from a loaf left in this. Finished this. Really like it. It's caramel apples, kettle corn, funnel cakes, and cinnamon sugared pretzels. When you melt this, the pretzel and the apple really comes out like the yeastiness of the pretzel, the crispness of the apple. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. I love it. Can't get enough of it. If Small Town Circus is offered again, I would definitely order it. And I saw... I think it was Michaela talking about it, and she really likes it, too. From Bring Back My Bar from Scentsy Pumpkin Marshmallow, I just got my Harvest Collection. I will put a video up. I was just so excited to get the warmers, finally, after the debacles with FedEx, as always, that I hurried up, put them in my bedroom, and re like redid my warmers in my bedroom, and then I pulled out Pumpkin Marshmallow to christen the warmers, and I love this. It is like you stuck your hand into a pumpkin, pulled out the guts, threw them in a pan, and put marshmallows on it, and baked it in the oven. It's perfection. So glad I have like, I think, 10 or 12 of these bars from these dashes that I bought from. Really love that. The Haunted Bakery from Teddy B's. Now this was poured September 20th, so literally it's like 360 days old almost. Zucchini bread, pump buttercream frosting, and pecan pralines. I put this in my warmers yesterday, went to the gym, came back. Oh my god, it was so good. I feel like buttercream frosting, pecan pralines are like blenders and then zucchini bread. This was just a very, very creamy, rich, heavy fall version of zucchini bread. Like a zucchini bread that's covered in really rich maple butter and like pecans that are like stuck in syrup. Almost not like maple syrup, but like a thick like molasses syrup. It was so rich, so decadent. Very, very, very sweet though. So if you don't like sweet, you wouldn't like it. But a day and a half, 24-7 in my living room, dining room, kitchen. This was the older chunk bags. Trying to phase through these since they don't look like they're coming back which I'm fine by because I love my potato salad tubs, and adding this into, like, clearing out the chunk bags. So you'll be seeing a lot of Teddy B's chunk bags, especially leading into this next pre-order arrival, trying to melt through them and enjoy them. Next from Rose Girls, I did Americana Smoothie. This was Blackberry Jam Butter Cookies, Monster Cookie, and Marshmallow Smoothie. I love Blackberry Jam Butter Cookie, and... When it comes out, you really get that jammy, jammy cookie. And I think blended with the monster cookie and the marshmallow, really, really sweet. It lasted all day. This mini melter, really, really good. I really enjoyed that one. Some brittles from Sassy Girl Aroma, blueberry muffin. This is juicy tart blueberries with orange zests, butter cake, vanilla, and almond. It was really, really pretty. This was January 10th, 2022, so about nine months of cure time, and love this. I did it two different days in my office, so I did half a brittle one day, half a brittle the next. I wouldn't say, like, orange zest came out or anything like that. It just smelled like a fresh baked from the oven blueberry muffin. Wasn't super, super strong, but every time I walked in here, I could smell it, but it didn't, like, leave the room and fill up the apartment, which is fine. It was really good, though. This one, I could not smell. Radiant Leaves. This is crisp red Macintosh apple, smoky notes, sweet maple, warm caramel, and an aromatic woody note. Did not get the performance from this one like I was hoping for. It's a nice scent. It reminds me of, well, it is, it's a dupe for um, Radiant Red Maple from Bath & Body Works. I think the maple just threw it off a little for me. It is a pretty scent. I wouldn't repurchase it, and I didn't get a great throw. All right, here's a bunch of Sassy Girl Aroma Brittles. 
I did Black Cat, which is Blackberry Cider Lane and Marshmallow Fireside. I love this. I love Cider Lane and Marshmallow Fireside. And mixed with that Blackberry. Now, this was not Blackberry Jam Butter Cookie. So it wasn't that, like, super shortbread cookie. It was just Blackberry. And I don't think it leaned floral to me at all. It was really, really pretty. It lasted all day in the warmers. It was a good day. I burned a Cider Lane candle when I was melting that. So really enjoyed that. Straight up zucchini bread. And this is fresh from the oven zucchini bread baked with sweet spices. And yeah, I mean, it just smelled like zucchini bread. I think I was burning a pumpkin pecan waffles candle when I had this. And I feel like I could equally smell both. The zucchini bread was a really nice background scent. While the pumpkin pecan waffles candle was like filling up the space. Earl and Me. This is Blueberry Cornbread Muffin and Vanilla Bean Noel. I love cornbread scents in wax. I need to get some more in my collection. I do really enjoy them. Just that, like, it's like the yeastiness, again, that I really like from, like, a fresh baked bread or a pretzel. But the cornbread adds a little bit more depth to it. And you do get that, like, cornmeal-y note. And mixed with the blueberry muffin made it smell very, like, home or like rustic in the house almost like it was a very nice fall day and you just had a lot of different baked goods baking in the oven one of them was a blueberry cornbread muffin so really enjoyed that one the infamous pumpkin creamer now the the description on here is not right this is one of her mini muffins this is beautiful it's oat milk and pumpkin really like it i will say though not very strong but I've noticed with the mini muffins from her, I don't get as good of a performance as I do from the brittles, so I'm not holding that against her. I have brittles, can't wait to try it, but the pumpkin creamer, I love the scent, and I know a lot of you did too, because every time it's offered in the pre-order, it sells out instantly because I rave about it. Next is, and you know what, if that's arrogant to you, that's fine. Numbers and facts don't lie, just saying. Banana nut bread, and this is freshly baked banana nut bread, not too nutty, with plenty of creamy ripened banana. It was nice, it was just like a banana nut bread fragrance. I love banana nut bread. I don't think I could melt them every single day, just like pistachio, but every once in a while, putting a banana scent throughout the house, really nice, very cozy, again, like something's freshly baked in the oven. And then last from Sassy Girl, I believe I'm looking quick in my bin. I think this is the last one, is Pumpkin Waffles. So this is her dupe for Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. It's, well, maybe. It says Pumpkin Pecan Waffles, Maple Syrup, and Brown Sugar. I think this is just Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. That's what it smells like to me. It smells just like the candle. I melted this one day as I was burning the candle. So it was just a beautiful Pumpkin Pecan Waffles day. Loved. All right, now let's moving on to the rest of the vendor things that I melted. I did a bar of Pacific Sandalwood, RIP, International Wax Collection. I love this. This is just a sweet sandalwood, very heavy on the vanilla. So it's a very creamy, soft sandalwood. I wish Sensi would bring this one back. I loved it. I did it in my bedroom. It lasted all day. It was perfection. I finished a scoop. Oh, I'm so glad I need to work on my scoops. I do not enjoy scoops. I don't enjoy the formula, the texture, anything like that. The only thing I enjoy is the strength and throw, but I'm not willing to deal with the mess of scoops when it's just the freezer method doesn't work with them, and that's how I prefer to. For those of you that aren't familiar with the freezer method, take your dish, once your warmer's off, and let it cool. Stick in the freezer 10, 15 minutes, the wax pops right out. Because scoops are so soft, it doesn't work that way. You have to like hot dump it or use the cotton ball method. I just, it's just messy for me. I, I just don't enjoy it. So I slowly get through my scoops whenever I'm in the mood to deal with all the cleanup. But this is an L3 uh, small scoop in Oregon Autumn, which is crisp, clean, and fresh fallen leaves with a hint of rain. And it's beautiful. Um, I really enjoy the sweetness from the rain. The fallen leaves, it's just a very, very sweet rain wet scent. I enjoy that one. I did a few melted mousses. I did apple s'mores, which was a souffle, Macintosh apple, marshmallow fireside, and toasty grams. 
it's it's a very sweet graham cracker apple. You can really pick up on the graham cracker in here, which I think is what's unique about it, because a lot of scents that have graham cracker, it almost just adds like a more sweetness, where I want like a true like honey made cracked graham cracker, and her apple s'mores is that. The Great Pumpkin, which is pumpkin donuts, salted caramel, and Palo Santo. I didn't get great luck with this one. It's a pretty scent. I love the Palo Santo mixed with those pumpkin notes and the salted caramel. I just didn't really get much performance from it, which is sad because most of her stuff performs great for me. I did two scent shots for Melted Moose. I did Bumpkin, which is pumpkin, coconut, cupcakes, and toasted marshmallow. Totally not like a me set. It's a definite coconut pumpkin. And it's more like a coconut milk, so a very, very creamy coconut mixed with that pumpkin. It was okay. Uh, again, I wouldn't purchase that one again. This one I would, Cider Donuts. It's cinnamon sugar donut and apple cider. This was beautiful. I did half a cent shot, cut it in half, two warmers in my bedroom. Love the way it performs. Love the way that it smells. Like a very creamy apple cider donut scent. Really like it. Love the Melted Moose and Jackie. I did... Uh, sample of Tilly and Pip. This lid never stayed on, so I actually put it in a poly bag, and I just was like, I want to melt it. Tilly and Pip is a beautiful, it's like a magnolia, peach, raspberry laundry. It's so pretty. I did that sample in my bedroom, and it lasted all day. And then last but not least, Fantasy Wax. I did a clamshell of Chamber of Secrets, which is blueberry cheesecake. Now, I know that Fantasy changed her wax from like 100% soy to a pair of soy and these are older these were gifted to me by my friend Andrea and blueberry cheesecake is awesome all of fantasy like I'm not even gonna lie even though I got these for free I placed a huge haul order which I'm gonna film after this this performed all day I did two cubes in one warmer two cubes in another and all day in my bedroom her, her clams do get squishy too like super tart so it just must be the clams Beautiful, so strong, performed all day. Great, creamy, creamy blueberry cheesecake set. And then I did also from, fa this is all fantasy for the rest of the video, 13 Ghosts, which is mulled cider. And this was nice. It was definitely a very heavy spiced cider. I would prefer a little bit more apple to spiced, but it was good. And then I did four scent shots from them. Oh, this is actually from VCS. This is Hello Sydney, which is cinnamon sugar donut. I did half a scent shot, cut in half, a scent shot, cut in half in my bedroom in tea light warmers all day. It's the dupe for cinnamon sugar donut from Bath and Body Works. I love this scent. It's just a cinnamon dusted donut. All right. And then three, if I can get all of them, three scent shots from Fantasy Wax. The first one is Pluto, which is peanut butter cookies. Now, I'll be honest, this was October 2021. I didn't really get a scent from it. Um, I don't know if the because the lid was cracked or what, but I definitely did not get the performance from this one. So it's about a year old. Some wax doesn't last a year. Again, this is her old formula. I know Fantasy Wax is on the pricier side, so I'm honest with you guys. I'm testing it out. I want to make sure that it's worth the money for you guys. But I loved the way the peanut butter cookies smelled on cold. I just didn't get a good performance on warm. These two, on the other hand, blow me out of the house. This one, Zucchini Bread Sugar Cookie Royale. This is fantastic, you guys. I love, love, love this scent. And to me, Sugar Cookie Royale was never a scent that I ever, like, craved. Or was like, I need to, like, buy more. But... Blended with those zucchini bread, Sugar Cookie Royale is like a very creamy, buttery sugar cookie dough scent. And blended with the zucchini bread, I really got, I popped half a cube or half of a scent shot in my bedroom. I only used one half, so I did this two different days. I came out from the shower. I could smell it in my shower from my bedroom, which is down the hall. Crazy. Again, some wax does, some doesn't. Her wax performs for the most part. It was like a buttery, delicious zucchini bread. Really impressed. Really like that one. And then last, Kirsten, if you're watching this, I need a loaf of this. Peach. This is fresh peach and zucchini bread. Andrea's like, I don't like peach, Drew. You can have it. It is like, I get the zucchini bread, but the peach is not a peach jam. 
not a peach fuzz, not a peach syrup. A true slicing a peach, squeezing all the juice out of it. This is a scent that makes my mouth water when I smell it because it's so rich and juicy. It's, it's so pretty. I love it. I can't get enough of this. I do have another one in my haul, spoiler alert, but I will talk about that then, but I'm not gonna melt it until I get a loaf because this peach zucchini bread, chef's kiss. It's amazing. And thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys got through this week. Anything exciting? Anything coming up in the mail that you're waiting for? I'm waiting on a Zay Paul. I just got my Fantasy Wax. My Dessas is coming. So excited for that. And I do have uh, a bag of Snoozy Melts from Barrett's Wax Crafts, but due to the disgusting behavior that I saw on Charity's YouTube channel from Josh, the owner, as Charity was being super polite and respectful, stating her opinion on wax she purchased, and him just really making fun of her and using her kindness against her was really crappy, so I will not feature them on my channel, but I did order them. So, I hope you all have an incredible rest of your day. A great week. Be kind. Don't forget, you matter. And I will see you guys in my next one. Love you guys. Bye.